To help ensure free and fair elections in Aotearoa, we have campaign and expenditure rules that all candidates must follow when running a political campaign. This video will outline many of the rules, but you can find a more detailed guide in the Candidate Handbook at the hub at elections.nz. First, let's take a look at some of the rules around advertising. Election advertising includes any medium that encourages or persuades people to vote or not vote for a candidate or party, even if the ad doesn't specifically say how they should vote. It can still count as an election ad if it references views a candidate or party might hold. If you're not sure if the election advertising rules apply to something you want to publish, you can seek an advisory opinion by emailing advisory at elections.govt.nz with a copy of the item and details of how and when it will be published. All election advertisements published at any time need to have a promoter statement so people can see who has initiated the advertisement. The promoter statement needs to be clearly visible or audible and must include the promoter's name and the full street address of either the place they usually live or another place where they can be physically contacted during working hours. You can't use a PO box, website or email address. If someone else wants to promote your candidacy, they can only do this with your prior written authorization. Some of the rules are time dependent and there is a regulated period before the election. It is generally three months before election day, but you can find the specific dates on the candidate hub at elections.nz. During this period, there is a limit to how much can be spent on candidate advertising. So you need to keep track of all your spending. You'll also need to file a return of your candidate expenses within 70 working days of election day, including a nil return if you did not advertise. You will need to keep records of your election advertising and receipts for all election expenses of $50 or more for three years after you've filed your return. If someone else pays for your advertising, anything they spend will still count towards your campaign spending limit and will also count as a candidate donation. Electric candidates and political parties have separate expense limits. This means joint party and candidate advertising needs to be apportioned based on how much of the ad was promoting the party or the candidate. So, if you have a billboard that has 70% of the coverage promoting your candidacy and 30% promoting a party vote, then the costs need to be apportioned based on that 70-30 split. And in the return, you'll need to show how the advertising costs were split between you and your party. Now let's look at some of the rules and limits put in place around campaigning. When it comes time to decide where to put your election signage, you will need to talk to your local council, as they are responsible for regulating when, where and how you can display election signs. TV and radio election ads can only be broadcast from writ day until the day before election day. All other election advertising can be published at any time except on election day. There are specific limits put in place around what campaigning you can do once voting starts. Other than wearing a party rosette and clothes in party colours, it's a criminal offence to do anything that can influence voters in, or within 10 metres of, an advanced voting place. And then on election day, this restriction extends to everywhere, including online. Don't publish anything on election day that could influence voters. You will need to remove all your promotional material like signs, posters and even bumper stickers by midnight before election day. We recommend you disable the public message boards and comment sections of your websites and social media to protect your supporters from breaking the rules. And you must not post out any election material that might arrive on election day. OK, that gives you an overview of some of the important rules around campaigning and election expenses. You can find more details about these rules and other helpful information like key dates and guidance on filing your return in the Candidate Handbook at the Hub at elections.nz.